everyone. Welcome back to Linda's Thrifty Life. Today is Tuesday and I went to the Dollar Tree and I was surprised and happy to find um, a few new products. Have I got everything? Okay. So I found this really cute little pink cat bowl for Annie and it's got this little so it doesn't slide. She's pretty good about not pushing her her dishes around but you know it was just bright pink and she is a girl so I got that and speaking of pink I found these little makeup brushes and they come in the little zip pouch so cute and I got one for me and one for Scout. She, we were shopping last weekend and she saw some makeup brushes in um, Home Goods. Ooh, Grandma, I want makeup brushes. And I said, baby, I'll get you some, but we will not spend 10 or $15 on them. So this is just perfect for her. So I was happy to see them. They had um, a, a different pattern, kind of a animal print, but I didn't care for it. And she and I both are pink girls so that's what we got it was pink I am just terrible about hitting this camera lately I'm gonna have to change my setup again so <clears throat> this is a repurchase and um, these are the Krispies oven baked rice crisps like like rice cakes in the caramel and I finished off the other bag and I was hungry I, I know I shouldn't go to Dollar Tree when I'm hungry, but I picked these up and I ate a few and it was just very satisfying. So for a dollar, it's not a bad little snack. Um, it says a serving, and they say there's about 200, 200, <laughs> two and a half servings per container, and it's 110 calories. Oh. Here's just the whole, the whole bag is 270 calories. 1% uh, fat, that's not bad. Carbs, of course, for you keto people, you don't eat any of this. But anyway, it was, it's tasty. So, um, it's not my salted caramel brownie brittle, but um, it's also a lot less calories and, and, uh, and, and tasty. So, um, someone hauled the other day these Hampton Farm um, salted roasted peanuts. And I saw a bag and I, I just picked them up. My grandkids like this and uh, it's kind of fun and I'll probably take them over to them. They also like boiled peanuts, and um, which is such a southern thing, Georgia thing, I guess. I have tried them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They are just wet soggy peanuts to me but my kids love them my grandkids love them so give me a good old roasted salted peanut any day and widow mom raising two sons um, hauls these all the time these tortilla chips and it says her boys just love them and um, I hope to make um, some I don't know nachos or something maybe this week so I picked up a bag to give them a try and the other thing in over kind of in the kitchen area was I still have not found the um, the uh, the mat that you put under the draining mat but I did see these now I, I did not get the towels they're that uh, 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 polyester and um, I already got the uh, some other towels that I like just better and I, so I didn't get those but I did like the um, the pot holders and I use I use these kind of pot holders and um, they get dirty I wash them and dry them a few times and then when they get a little raggedy I they're gone all right then the cute stuff or some of the cute stuff look what I found the mermaid squishy this was the first time they had the mermaid they had the rainbow they had um, the narwhal and something else I don't know but anyway I just got oh the llama I just um, got this one because I have the llama and the narwhal from my sweet friend Janae but um, 
I know a little girl that will just really like this. So this will probably go um, into the bag for a, in her Christmas stocking. I'm I'm starting, I'm starting already. Speaking of Christmas. I had hauled these the other day and I showed them to you and they are the little um, truck cut out the wooden DIY sign that you can paint yourself and I sent one to one of my viewers um, one of my subbies and so I, I went ahead and picked up another one so that I still have three because they're so cute and then look what I found in the Christmas little red truck tape oh my goodness it's so cute so cute it's uh, nine feet of ribbon five eighths inches wide and I just think it's adorable so I did buy two rolls of that they had some others that were real cute they had a a, a red and black I think buffalo check and they had one that was like elf feet and I almost I picked that up but I eventually put it back I am really trying to cut down I have so much stuff as you well know you watch me haul it but I really like the red truck and it'll be fun to use you know on a lot of different things at Christmas so um, I saw it I bought it um, I did check out the washi tape, and um, there were a couple of dinosaurs and one spaceship left, and everything else was just the patterns with no cute little, you know, stuff on them. And, uh, but all of the cute things were gone, like I knew they would be. So I am so glad I picked up two. I know. Greedy Linda, but, you know, I'm glad I did. So speaking of Greedy Linda, and I'm not really, I, I'm not. Um, they had the planner books finally at my store and they had a lot they had some up front they had a big like two or three strips of them so I did go ahead and purchase two of each of the three kinds they have because these will definitely be in a giveaway and look at the planner it's so cute with the I, I know you've probably seen a lot of people haul these but this is a great deal for a dollar. When I first got into planning and was buying, you know, nothing like this was in the Dollar Tree. And I was buying um, stuff like this that was um, Happy Planner, even on sale and marked down. Whew, way more than a dollar. So that had 297 pieces. And this one has 265. And this... Oh, this might be my favorite. I mean, look at it. It's got the sunglasses, the flamingos, just real summery. But listen, it's still high 90s here in Georgia. I am not feeling any kind of fall weather at all. I am just dying from the heat. But anyway, these are really cute. And then the third one um, is this. And it's pretty too. It's got, I guess, um, more pinks and the blues. And I just think it's really pretty. But these are great for planners. And um, some of them, you, they may not come to your stores. And so I will probably do a giveaway of some of those. And um, I decided to get for pocket letters a pack of construction paper with all of this different color paper in it. It's not the best paper to use in pocket letters, but it certainly will do, especially as the back. And um, I'm going to do another video at some point for um, bargain pocket letter of how to make it with just a very few items and you know everything from the dollar store except the pocket and um, so you can stay tuned for that I am going to wait until I get my new tripod after filming <laughs> the 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 like this and and my my phone fell and it bounced around and you know this tripod I have I bought just for a few dollars when I when I was thinking about starting my channel 
that straighten out my my purple cat ears. There we go. And I was thinking about starting my channel, and I, you know, I just didn't want to spend a lot of money because you know, I wasn't sure I'd really do this. But here I am, and it's several months later, and 400 and something subscribers. So I think I'm here to stay at least for a little while. So um, after the fiasco of it tipping and everything, I um, went on to Amazon, one of my favorite places to shop. And I found a uh, tripod uh, for $20, 19 dollars and um, it, it looks like it has everything that I want, and it, it looks a lot more sturdy than the one I have. So once I get that and play around with it, and I'll probably do um, some more pocket letter videos if enough of you are interested, and if nobody watches them, well, okay, then that's okay. I'll have fun making them. So... That was it, except for my very favorite item that I found. And I've seen this hauled by several people. K is for Karen, I know for sure. But look at it. Oh my gosh, look at the kitty with the unicorn. Oh my gosh, so meowsical. Meow, yeah, meowsical. Like, magical, meowsical. Look at that. I do love my kitty cats. So, I was so excited. And I, they had three other designs, but I didn't need them. Uh, other people have shared them already, so I didn't need to show them to you. And so, I just got the one that I really loved. So, hey, this is only, you know, going on 12 minutes. So, not too bad. It was a very small haul. I'm trying to be... I'm a little careful. I know we're coming into Christmas and we'll start, I'll start picking up all sorts of things. Oh, I did have one more thing and I guess I left it in the car. Um, but they have, they had 18 inch wreath forms and I bought one. Must have left it in the car. So how exciting is that? And um, they were just like flying off the rack. So when I found it, there were three and I took one and um, you know, it's a lot of love too. So, um, but I hope you find them. That's a really good deal. So, I am going to try to make some sort of fall wreath. I don't know what. I'm going to have to look at some YouTube videos and, and, you know, maybe some Pinterest because it has to be easy. And, um, but I've got some cute signs that I think would be really cute to make a wreath and hang on my front door. All right, guys, that's it babbled on enough. Thank you all for um, watching this and I hope that you um, had a good time, saw something you might want to put on your wish list and I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video and um, thumbs up, you know, even thumbs down if you have to, although this is thumbs up. This is a thumbs up video for sure. So anyway, I will talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.